I'm putting this to the ultimate test of being a microphone. I should not be doing this with a cheap five four dollar microphone that came with a keyboard <coughs> but I'm doing it. Uh my gain is set at about seventy five percent. Um I'm only running this through one channel. I will mix it in post obviously because that's what all the YouTubers do, right? Ah That was a weird ass noise. Okay. I'm putting this microphone to the ultimate test. Hold on, let me show you it. The handling noise is absolutely terrible. Not good. But hey, it's not terrible either, but what do you expect from a $4 microphone, right? And honestly, it doesn't sound absolutely terrible, but only so many things will tell, right? Okay. So, there's only one switch on this microphone. And it's an on-off switch, which also apparently doubles as a mute switch when plugged into a Focusrite Scarlett. Um, there's an align and instrument mode on this thing, so I'm going to try both. <coughs> see how it works. And honestly, see how it sounds, because I'm kind of curious. I'm putting this microphone, this $4 microphone, to the, to the ultimate test. And I'm kind of scared. Okay, let's get this going. Okay, let's turn it off. You can probably hear me. Not for me now. You can hear me. Hey, how are you doing? If you guys can hear me, all until now. But hey, that's how you know this works. Okay, let me plug the. Let me put this back into the stand. So as you can tell, this microphone doesn't have the best handling noise. I mean, it it, it has terrible handling noise. <coughs> and I'm sick. So that makes this job a little harder. But. I was very curious about this. Mainly because I know that I could have plugged this into my audio interface at any time. It is a dynamic unidirectional microphone with absolutely no name whatsoever. It says it needs it's uh, has an impedance of 600 decibels. I don't know why it has an impedance range, but hey, whatever. That should be sensitivity. And right now I'm thinking that it might be a sensitivity of about 45 I don't know about there, but this microphone does not seem to be very particularly great in anything, but hold on, I'll let you read it. Wait. There you go. Okay, so the big thing about this microphone is that it says it's unidirectional. Do I believe it's unidirectional? Yeah, okay. But I'm going to test if it's unidirectional anyways. Let's get that started. You should not be able to hear me even at all over here. Unless I bump the microphone like that, then you can hear me pretty well. Some over here, maybe, and then right on top is where it's at. Okay, now I'm going to pop this thing open. <coughs> Boom. Whoa, okay, that was...
was a little loud, wasn't it? I inhaled it. I inhaled it. I inhaled it. Oh, shite. That's a lot of editing I have to do in post. Okay. All right. Now I have to be insanely quiet. Because guess what? This thing is a bitch. Okay. Now, if I talk really kind of quietly, it has a reasonable amount of gain. Whereas my Shure SM58, I mean Shure SM7B, which is right here. It, hold on, I'll show you something. That's the mode. I, that's the mode I have it set on. That's the mode I have it set on for my voice. Audio Technica AT2020 right here. Remember this old guy? Yeah. I had him for a year. Almost approaching a full year now. And now I'm going to turn this mic up. Okay. So, that was a journey. Um, That was weird. Now I'm going to put this to the first test. The instrument mode. Whoa, okay. So I noticed something. There's a huge ass sine wave right here. I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys in post. <laughs> but wow, that is something. Okay, the gain has been increased by an exponential amount. I had to turn it down to wait. I had to turn it down to fifty percent. And I'm pretty much still clipping. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. I'm not clipping anymore. However, the pop has insanely increased. Maybe that's because of the fact that I have the big, big head off of it. And there's only this little foam here. Let's put that back on now, huh? I keep on inhaling. And yet, this microphone still has insane handling noise. Okay, there you go. Now you guys don't have as much pop. Okay, so the gain, I, I had to drop it down to 45%. That's kind of good. So that means that I actually got to drop it down, which is really good. Okay. <coughs> wow. Okay. I'm going to turn it back off instrument mode now. I don't know how well you guys can hear me right now, but I'm going to turn it all the way back up to 90, about 75. Okay, now we're, about, now we're back at about 75%. Oh, wait. There we go. That's, that's better. I have, a, I have a brilliant idea, but then again, I'm scared of it. Because I know for a fact that as much as it might not be a whole the whole thing, but it might send some of it to it. <sighs> I have an idea to turn on the forty eight volts of phantom power. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, one thing that I have to warn you. Do not never 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 have a dynamic microphone plugged in with XLR and turn on 48 volts of phantom power. Never never do it. It is a dangerous game to play because guess what? You can shut down the entire thing. All the mechanics can be blown to smithereens. I'm being a little... I'm just over-exaggerating a little bit. However, all the all the hardware will probably be burnt. And then your microphone won't work. Sound good? Don't do it. I'm going to do it to see how well this can...
Okay, we had something there. <coughs> okay, I have an idea. I heard something. I heard something that was not a reassuring noise at all. I'm going to turn this back down to about 45. Okay, I have 48 volts of phantom power going into the microphone right now. I don't know how long this microphone will last whilst I do this, so I'm going to make this into a quick test. This is not meant to be. You should not do this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That hissing has increased. That hissing. That hissing has definitely increased. Okay. Okay, I'm turning this back off. Okay, turning it back off now. Okay. Oh. That was insane. That was weird. Okay. I am not doing that ever again. Uh, I'm going to stop abusing this microphone. Flat and short. I'm done with this microphone. If you guys want to see me test more shitty microphones, go ahead and leave a comment in the, the, in the comment section below. Leave a like. And for the love of God, don't do what I did today. It's not healthy for microphones. If you know what I mean. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I'm going to go back to the Shure SM7B now. <sighs> this was a terrible idea. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.